Hey everybody, I just finished uh, riveting together the ribs. I would have done a little more video of that during the day, but my wife needed to take my camera to work. And so here they are all finished. I have to put two more pieces on, but she just got home and gave my camera back, so I want to show you what I did today. This took six and a half hours to go from um, the two spars riveted uh, together to add the ribs. Um, it might be a lot of time, I don't know, but I'm not really trying to rush through this project. But these two pieces are the last ones to go on. So I need to clean them up, uh, drill them, deburr them, uh, paint them, get some corrosion protection on it, and then it'll be ready to pop on. Then the next part, as far as I can tell, I'll have to go back and check the instructions, uh, will be putting on the skin. So you can get more of a close-up angle of what it all looks like. Uh, one thing to note is that I literally could not fit my rivet gun inside this area here. So I got these five rivets, which are supposed to go this way, popped properly, or pulled, excuse me, but this one I pulled from the opposite side. Now typically you want to pull from uh, the head being on the side where the metal is the thinnest, uh, because the larger head will hold it very well with the uh, extra tension there, but I literally didn't have an option to do that, and so I went in and pulled from the other side. I called my dad first, double checked. He's an AMP, and I explained to him what was going on. And took some photos and sent it to him. And he said you really will probably not lose any strength there, but if you'd all possible, always pull the proper way. Uh, anyway, so that's where it is so far. Talk to you soon.